and we are back. Yes, we are. Welcome back to Milana's place. A um, woman drawing water. Okay, we are going after the map now because. Okay, our first puzzle of the game, and this one is quite easy. Although, to be fair, um, I didn't realize you could actually climb on these bloody things. Believe it or not, you can. Jill can get onto a slightly elevated surface with um, with an object well, that is capable of being bit. moved. She's so oh shit! Fuck! Come on! Come on! So fucking jiggly these mechanics sometimes. See, Jill was so fucking stupid. I honestly, I honestly doubt her ability to jump on things. She's that stupid. I thought maybe uh, you know maybe Chris. What is Chris's unique abilities apart from sucking? Well, he's slightly stronger than Jill. He can take more damage than she can. He also comes with the lighter, so you don't have to find it. It doesn't like take that Jill. long to find the lighter anyway. And usually you find it just after you find the can. You need to burn these things anyway, so what's the point? Also, Chris, uh, can you, in, in, you've got defense items in this game, like daggers and stun guns for Jill. Chris can also pick up daggers as well, but you also get stun grenades. They if you get grabbed by a zombie, jams it in the zombie's mouth and it takes zombie's head case off, basically. Or otherwise known as its head. Hmm. Uh, okay, yeah. I'm going, I've gone back out and in again because I want this to reset because like I said, I actually did some research this time. We actually did try to play this game on the fly and we spent about three hours wandering around doing fuck all. Being the Resident Evil expert I am and everything, uh, even I can't get to grips immediately with an unfamiliar game. Yeah, it's... it's and these mecha Oh, God, these controls are awful. They're so tank-like and... Oh. Well, that's the original tradition. Yeah, but the idea of a remake is to fix what was broken. Also, but, stay true to the original source. Yeah, but they could have made it a little more flowy, you know what I mean? You could still have it feel like Resident Evil, but... Let's make a Resident Evil game that doesn't suck, at least in the control aspect. Because, regardless of how much fun it is, the game does suck a little. When it comes to the gameplay. Oh, God. Try Resident Evil Where 6, then. Where the hell did then? you come from? Are you telling me these things are like raptors? They open fucking doors. Because they can they... open doors, yeah. Oh, fuck. Come on. I really didn't want to and have to use the dagger. And defense items at work. I did not get... Don't want to even fucking... Sh get it off me! I don't want to even friggin' shoot this guy because... Alright, I don't have that many, much bullets and it's a survival game. Of course, you're not meant to have bullets. Fuck. You know, why am I just... Why am I shooting this guy? I have no <sighs> idea. We could have just trapped him in here with the chest. Do you know what? I think, uh, well... He turns into a crimson head later, of course, but um, you, the one thing you... Fuck. Uh, get around. There we go. See what I mean by these tank controls? Ah, oh, fuck it. Come on, no! Just get away from that! Trust me, I'm the story of my life. Uh, now, if you push this guy, he doesn't. You don't even have to worry. There you go. There Where's he is. There he is. And Look he's trapped. That. Can't do anything. Can't do a damn thing. Just staggering about with the dagger in his head. What a gonk. Just because I feel like it. <laughs> I know I said I've only got a few bullets, but fuck it. I just... Quell the danger music. Yeah, it's 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 a little thing. <laughs> I love the fact he's walking out there with a dagger in his head. I thought if he destroyed the brain, they were supposed to die. Yeah, if you take the head off, yeah, you kill him. No, because it's, it's 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 shooting them in the head, isn't it? In zombie law. Yeah. Take the head off, they stop. Yeah. Well, I or just you can destroy... blow their legs off. No, no, because that only just makes them crawl towards you. I'm talking about stopping them permanently in zombie law. Yeah, then take, just take... I just on. stabbed the guy in the brain and he didn't stop. So, which which fucking laws are we playing by here? Are we playing <laughs> by George Romero's laws, where you can just shoot them in the brain? Are we playing by Return of the Living Dead laws, where you just can't kill them, they keep coming back? Let's well, take, take kill them with fire is a pretty good principle. Uh, I don't know. Um, and that didn't work in Return of the Living Dead. Even that didn't work. They burnt the things to ashes and it didn't work. Seriously? They just reformed... No, 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 worse than that. They got into the atmosphere, came down in rain, and then woke up thousands of zombies. Whoa. <laughs> it was, it's an awesome, and it, it's an awesome, it, you know what, it's weird, because they don't have, like, dramatic music at all in that. They have the funky 80s... 
synth. Yeah, synthesized music that is really freaking cool. I love synth. It I was actually, synth, believe it or not, synth. it was Return of the Living, even though um, zombies had been established before then, it was Return of the Living Dead that created the uh, um, thing that they like brains. They wow. were brains. The one, when, whenever zombies go brains, it's actually Return of the Living Dead that invented that. You got to sit and watch down that watch that movie uh, for Halloween. You got to go buy it and get it. So honestly, get it for Halloween. It's a lot of fun. If you say so. Get it for Halloween. Honestly, it's one of my favourites. Uh, it's probably the best zombie because it throws everything out. It's like it's uh, what I loved is uh, Night of the Living Dead because well, all right, the story is to get some herbs here. Story with Night of the Living Dead. Um, they got they could the guy who made it, you know, Romero. Couldn't get the rights. So yeah, he made Dawn of the Dead. So they made Return of the Living Dead, the uh, original production people. And they right. threw out... They actually... The movie exists within this movie lore. Night of the Living Dead actually exists in this movie. And they talk about it. They reference it as some sort of government conspiracy that a guy tried to release it. So they changed a few facts here and there. And they throw out all the established lore. Here's another herb here. They threw out all the established law that you can't shoot them in the head. You can't decapitate them. It doesn't work. They try all these things. They try to get rid of this problem and it just keeps getting worse. And I love that idea because that's a zombie apocalypse. You know, you're trying to fix the solution, but it just keeps getting... Fuck. Darn. It keeps getting worse. Never a dagger when you need one. <sighs> Defense items I want to stock up on because, you know, we've got much worse things coming. Oh, come on! I would like to take this uh, opportunity to point out that I am vegetarian. <laughs> if this doesn't put you off eating meat, nothing more, quite frankly. Oh, oh the dog's coming. Well. Oh. I really like. I'll tell you one thing. Um, About. um. Oh God, who made this? I forget his name. Uh, Shinji Mikami. Isn't it? Shinji Mikami. That's I it. believe so. Yeah, Shinji Mikami. He's very good at making atmospheric games. Even like Shadows of the Damned, uh, for all its um, big boner shooting segments, was very atmospheric in terms of its game, of, of terms of its atmosphere. You felt like you were in a demon world. Of course. Oh, look at God's an arrow. Oh, it's the arrow. And of course, we have to take the head off the arrow. Of course, removable parts of objects. I believe that was uh, first used in Code Veronica. You mean that wasn't what happened in the original? In this original no, game. you didn't have detachable objects. You just picked up objects as they are, and they're meant to be used. Okay. Objects with detachable parts first came up in Code Veronica. Okay, well. And Code Veronica X, in which we releases. Okay, we got ourselves our first um, bit of trivia there. I did not know that. Now okay. you do. Oh, we got another dagger. Okay. Good. And there's a zombie over here. I'm going to see about trying to avoid him. Oh god, this is it. Okay, so I'll lure him over here. Etch. Bless you. Thank you. Oh. Okay, I'm going to see about. Is he gone? Oh, wait, there he is. Oh, uh. See, zombies to me were never fucking scary. The reason we're doing this will become clear presently. Yeah, because we need bullets. I ain't shoot. Oh, wait. And also, we need to shove this yeah, piece of, of rare I'm, art. Of course, I almost forgot. There is a jewel in this one. Yeah, shame because the statue looks absolutely priceless. Thing is, we've got to smash it. Well, I don't think so. I think they must have made it in like five minutes because it's a puzzle to the game. My guess is they just. It's it's literally what this is is it's a key container. It's like a ginormous key. This fucking house is a fun house. Seriously, seriously, umbrella, get out of the evil organization and make a fun house. You should try the police station in Resident Evil Two then. Oh yeah. Shoot, wasn't it a museum? And it used some to be an art museum, yeah. Why did you build a police station on top of an art museum? They didn't build it on top of an art museum, they built it in the art museum. Alright, in the art museum. And what is in this police station then? Jewels. Wait a second. Crests, medals, as in keys. The, as, in, as in the museum's artefacts? Yes. That's not how museums work! And there are playing card themed keys as well. You've got spade key, club key, diamond key. You don't, key, just, no, you don't key, move in. You don't move the police key. station in and then leave the priceless artifacts in the basement. They weren't in the basement. It they doesn't matter. It's a metaphor. <laughs> well, that's just how it was. Oh, 
What? Um, Raccoon, Raccoon Go- City's police chief was in why the. Do I, why he I was that? on the payroll of Umbrella, so they probably had a little that hand in creating some of the. That has nothing to do with the fucking museum. That has nothing to do with the fact that they moved out, you know, moved the museum out, said, right, we're closing down the museum, but we're going to leave everything here. Art collectors, sell the art, do something. Even if Umbrella purchased the museum and the stuff within it, sell the art, buy stuff. You need funding for this shit. I mean, there is no way that you can possibly tell me by the fifth fucking game or whatever that anyone would fund the T-Virus. Well, they did They did leave it unaltered as well. In Resident Evil Outbreak, File 2, okay, which takes place inside the police we're, station. We're going to have to do this next time on Milana's Place. 